Hello, Verbling.com members. This is Jeff Watson inviting you to join another English class brought to you by Verbling.com. Verbling.com is where you can connect 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and practice your English. Welcome, everyone. What we are going to be doing this hour, uh, I ho hopefully we will be able to uh, watch a short introductory video. We will be doing some reading about the concept of tax havens. These are places in the world where companies and individuals send their money and so that they can avoid paying taxes. And uh, I think there is more action being taken by the governments in the world to try to uh, fix this situation and uh, solve this problem. So I hope this is an interesting topic for uh, some of you. And I hope that some of you know more information about uh, economics and about the uh, international economy than I do. Uh, I have prepared a, a document. It's called File GW, and I'm just going to check the number, File GW56. So if you could download this document, this is the reading that we are going to be looking at. And uh, I will... Uh, be showing a, a video shortly um, uh, uh, produced by the website where I got the information from. All right, and so what I would like to do is to say hello to everyone and invite them to introduce themselves. And then what I would like to ask them is, uh, the, do they think the situation in their country is good? in terms of do they feel that people um, are paying their taxes? Do they feel that, uh, do you feel that your government is charging fair taxes to companies and corporations and wealthy individuals? What is the situation in your country? And so, uh, Diego, hello, Diego, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, well, uh, the situation in my country, uh, I think it's the, the government uh, more and more uh, put taxes in companies, mm -hmm. and, but uh, not always uh, share the, the, where, where the, the government uh, get to the poor people, for example. Ah, okay, and so you feel that your government is... Uh, uh, collecting taxes but not using them well or not spending them to help poor people. Yes, okay, that's okay. right. Yeah, sorry. And and where are you from? Argentina. Ah, okay. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so, oh, oh, and just quickly, do you pay your taxes? <laughs> me? You, you yes, me? as an individual. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, thank you. No, great. Uh, Dimitri? Yes, hello. Please introduce yourself to the group. Hi, I'm Dimitri. I'm from Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what about the tax situation in your country? Do you think your government does a good job charging and collecting taxes from everyone? Yes, I think it's uh, it's pretty good uh, situation in Israel because mm -hmm. uh, every employer here uh, should pay his uh, the taxes of his uh, employee. So actually 
uh, employee has no duties uh, to pay his taxes because uh, okay. he know he his uh, employee employer going to pay taxes for him. So the, the taxes bond. are deducted from deducted, the pay. Deducted, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, I would also like to ask people if if you know that there are any tax shelters or tax havens in your country. And and so I'm I'm going to go on to uh, Esther. Uh, hello, Esther. Hello. Uh, I'm Esther. I'm from Spain. And the answer of the question, I think, in my country, in the taxes for the people that have a lot of money, for example, a sports club, don't pay a, yeah. a tax because now, for example, in the news, uh, they publish that uh, Barcelona or Real Madrid, an important club, a sports club, don't pay anything. And for example, uh, uh, people that, it's normal people that have the, their job, but uh, pay a lot of tax and go up the tax of all tax. Right, and, 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 and yeah, they're paying a huge percentage of the taxes. How are uh, Barcelona and, uh, you know, the football clubs that you mentioned, how are they avoiding paying taxes? Are, are they registering in other countries? Or? No, I, they are registered in my country, but I don't know how they do it. But I think that the politician is the same because they receive um, uh, black money, it's correct? Uh, dirty money? Yeah, dirty money. Uh, and they don't right. declare... Oh, okay. Hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, they don't declare this money and mm -hmm. now it's okay. it's in in the news in all in all countries that oh, Spain okay. a lot of corruption, the politicians. Mm. Okay. Yeah, the term that, that's I think most often used in English is dirty money. This is money that's gained illegally or or sorry, earned but not earned. <laughs> that's not what we would say. Sorry, this is money that is is being made illegally. Mm. Or, okay. or paid as corruption money. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Facundo, hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, great, great. And so another person from Argentina. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, do you uh, understand well, the sure. question? Sorry? Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Yes, well, we are... In addition, what me, what my partner from Argentina said, we uh, the governor collects taxes, but the uh, they uh, don't sign so well. Yeah, they, for they example, don't, mm, they don't spend it well, or uh, yeah, okay. They don't spend well. Sure, mm -hmm. for example. Okay. Is uh, instead to help people, they have a program called Soccer for Everyone, and they spend the money in that. Okay, so instead of uh, spending the money to help but poor people, sorry, what do they spend the money on? I didn't quite understand. In a program, for example, in a program called Soccer for Everyone. Okay. Uh, is soccer in open TV? Oh, on on television. Sure. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. All right. So it's a it's like a unnecessary expense. Okay. You you said that well. Good. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to say hello to Hector. Yeah. Turn on that microphone. And, and, and just yeah. Great. Go ahead, Hector. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm Venezuelan, but ah. I mm -hmm. I live in Spain mm -hmm. for eleven years, and right now I'm living in Netherlands. Okay, but I I, I understand that the government uh, need to collect the money, but but we can, we we need. We need think that if the government put high high taxes for the company, for example, 
this uh, company uh, uh, go 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 to the other country. Yeah, they uh, they will go. They will move to another yeah. country. Yes, yes. Uh, and I think this is the problem. This is the problem. But but, but the government uh, maybe maybe most 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 uh, put high high taxes or low taxes for the company uh, who, who really is creating em, em, employ or employment? employment employment yes creating that. jobs in, yeah okay no thank you I I, uh, I like your opinions uh, you always say something different so good I think that's yeah, true well, well said good I hope everyone understood. I think your point was your main point was if a government uh, raises taxes a lot, the companies will simply move to another country where the tax rate is lower. Uh, that's that it. that is the <laughs> re real question. Yeah. Okay. Great. Excellent. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move on to Mario. Hello, Mario. Uh, hello, Jeff. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to Hi see you. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. I'm Mario. I'm from France. I'm living in France. I'm living in Paris, exactly, and uh, the situation about uh, the taxes in my country is very... I, I think the France is um, the worst country that uh, uh, live people uh, about 50% um, uh, of... Uh, so, people yes. pay very high taxes? Very high taxes, about 50% mm -hmm. for, uh, um, for most people, company uh, pay a lot of taxes, and uh, I think there is a, a problem for uh, to 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 employment uh, uh, things because uh, <clears throat> I think uh, if you want to to create uh, employment, uh, you don't have to tax a lot company. You have to allow them to uh, to hire people. Yeah, and okay. uh, yeah, and uh, so in France, uh, the the situation is a bit uh, weird because uh, we pay a lot of tax, but we each each, each uh, years the tax uh, comes increase and incre increase, and uh, it's never stop. Uh, so we pay taxes on the incomes. Uh, uh, we pay taxes on each product that we bought. About uh, twenty uh, twenty percent on each product. If you buy Is candy, you, say, uh, you sales you, sales tax. Sales, yes, sales mm -hmm. tax. Yeah. So it's it's very difficult, uh, and uh, I think it it's a problem for okay. people who earn a lot of money. So yeah. they just go there to uh, give their money for other country that <laughs> where the taxes is right. uh, is lower. Okay, uh, no, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Great, great. Well said. Uh, Omar, hello, welcome. Omar. I would like to hear from Omar because, yes. Hello? Can yes. you hear me? Yes, Omar, hello. Uh, hello, Tisha, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. <laughs> well, I, as I said before, Tisha, you didn't hear me what I said. Oh, so I just no. want to thank you and just also want to thank Alberlin for giving me this opportunity to participate one more time here. Mm -hmm. And and also I just want to say hello to the rest of my uh the other students here in in Berlin. Uh well T shirt, the thing that I know about uh, taxes, okay, um here I'm from Panama, Panama City is located in Central America. I I just I just say that here in my country, uh the government uh, invest our taxes in in many structures, for example, in highways, uh, in, in school, in education. So, so we as Panamanian, we have no complaint about our government. So, corruption you can find corruption everywhere. So, uh, we used to say here in my country, okay, the government um, steal money. It, 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 it's the reality, teacher. It's the reality. So, mm -hmm. in, in where why all all government is still money, so but what I what I think here here in my country, you know, so taxes 
taxes is not so high. Uh, you pay 7% for, for taxes. So before we had a 5%, uh, and uh, act, uh, nowadays we are paying 7% of taxes. So mm -hmm. in comparison with France, so with the, the, the last person who talked, I, right. I, I think I heard that, that in France pay 50% taxes. Oh, wow, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a lot of money. I think people in yeah. France were, you know, in order to pay taxes. So in Panama, oh, only 7% taxes. Great. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Omar, I'm going to move on, but I, I'd like to hear more about your opinion about the tax rate charged to corporations in Panama. I, I've heard uh -huh. that it's a very good situation for companies to move to Panama. But uh, I'd like to move mm -hmm. on to uh, Vinod. Are you there? Yeah. Good morning, yes. Jeff. So uh, I am from India, and uh, like here, uh, it's like for salaried people, the tax is deducted from the source itself, from the companies. The way it works here in the United States, similar, it's here like it's in our country. So mm -hmm. at the end of the financial year, we get a Form 16, similar to the W2 form here, and then we can submit it later on. We can claim whatever more tax government has deducted, so we can get the money back. And uh, spending this tax amount here in con my country, I think like government is doing a good job. It's not that they are doing like it's hundred percent satisfactory, but still they are going doing a good job. And then uh, they are working like. They are working progressively to see other ways where these uh, tax amounts can be spent it more effectively. So, okay. uh, and then the second thing regarding this tax havens. So, like uh, I think in, in my country, not it's not tax havens, but we have special economic zones. Mm -hmm. So, what will happen is government will uh, like the state government will define a uh, area in their uh, region, and then it becomes a special economic zone where government is uh, giving less taxes. And then uh, uh, they are providing a subsidized amount of uh, help to the uh, companies to set up their uh, industries here. And then it would be only for a short period, like five or okay. six years. And after yeah. that, they are on their own. OK. No, excellent. Thank you. Those were three excellent points. Thank you. Great. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that the situation is, is good. And so, uh, Mitri, mm -hmm. hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, well, uh, Let's say that in our country, in my country, in Russia, uh, the situation with paying taxes is uh, uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, for our uh, everyone, it's uh, sometimes impossible. Uh, for example, to start your own business, uh, and so uh, almost everyone uh, must to break uh, rules and uh, break rules and uh, we can sometimes follow follow rules and so uh, we can sometimes uh, uh, pay taxes paying taxes uh, so and it's really great problem for uh, for uh, for people in our country yeah and, and for the the situation in general so you're saying that taxes are too high and so people have to try and avoid paying them? Yeah, they are pretty high and uh, yeah. everyone tries to avoid them. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, great. And so uh, what I'd like to do is to try and play a, a short introductory video um, that I, I thought was uh, interesting. And so I'm going to turn on my YouTube application and I hope that I can find the video. I'm just learning how to use this. So it's loading right now. And uh, it will give you the name of the website where I got the information uh, that's on the written document. Okay, and so I'm going to see if I can find this video here. Uh-oh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> uh-oh. It's, uh, uh, okay, I have it on my document. Just give me one second here. Here we are. If someone would like to make a comment. <laughs> does, it, does anyone have any? Uh... Yes, all right.
sorry, here, here comes the video. Uh, it's a, just a short video with very basic information. And uh, so maybe I'll play the video. I'll play the video. I can see in the video. Sorry, I'd, I'd just like to ask people, do, do we see the video? No. No, yes, 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 we can see the video. So, uh, now, no. does, it, does anyone know see. why only some people see it? I, I, uh, yes, I yes, have this yes, problem I with can. the last class. Well, you should... Uh, you should uh, do do they you. need to add the YouTube application? Yes, actually, like, we have to go to this YouTube application and then allow the access for this YouTube account to, uh, like... Uh, Okay. Connect to this uh, handout. Yes. All right. And so if people could go to their applications, uh, what does it look like? It, it's view more applications uh -huh. okay. or add uh, applications. I can't see the video now. I uh, can't yeah. view. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video here. Uh, there may have been a delay problem as well. So here, I'm going to play the video now. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm back again. So we're having people I, somehow clicking on the video. And so uh, I'm going to go back and put the video. Great. Hello, everyone. So I hope that you enjoyed your listening practice. 
again, some basic information, um, but this is the, the situation. Uh, and so what I'd like to do is to go to the uh, document now and just to do some reading. I thought it might be interesting to just start by reading some of the some of the statistics that I found on that website tackle tax havens um, I think it was dot com sorry and so I'd like to bring this up on the screen share and we'll do some reading and people are always welcome to just turn on their microphone and say hello uh, if they have a question or comment I'm really relying on some student comments here and so um, I, I'm just going to start with uh, Dimitri. Are, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Could you please read the information that's uh, on the screen now? Sure. Uh, from one to one point six trillion dollar annual cross-border flow of the global proceeds from tax evasion, corruption, and criminal acti activities. Okay, uh, one hundred. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. 100 billion amount that the Senate, Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations estimate, estimated in uh, 2008 that the U.S. lost in the tax revenue due to offshore tax abuse every year. Okay, great. So let's, let's uh, just uh, think about those numbers. Um, what I'd like to do is just to um, write down the number here. So these are estimates of uh, the of the of the money that's lost, um, or all of the money that is generated by tax evasion. So there's there's a million. Here's a billion. So this is a trillion, <laughs> so one trillion dollars, and one billion dollars lost every year by the U.S. government. Okay, and what I'd like to do then is to go on, I'm just going to mute your microphone, uh, Dimitri, it's creating some noise, and so Esther, could you please read this information for us, these statistics? The uh, one trillion uh, amount of unrepresented Unrepatriated foreign repatriated repatriated foreign profit sitting offshore. Uh, eight hundred ten billion average outflow of illicit money from developing countries per year. Uh, eighteen thousand eight hundred fifty seven number of the registered bus business at businesses one businesses at one address in the Cayman Islands. 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 Perfect. And and the Cayman Islands is quite a famous tax haven. And and so if people understood that correctly, there are eighteen thousand businesses registered. Their office is just one address, one building in the Cayman Islands. Eighteen thousand businesses registered at the same address. Okay. <laughs> one one yeah. And uh, a very sad uh, figure, $810 billion lost every year uh, from developing countries. Uh, this is um, the, one of the biggest American tax havens, Delaware, the state of Delaware. And so, uh, Hector, could you please read this, these statistics for us? Yes. 64% publicly trade U.S. parent companies incorporate in Delaware. Incorporated. Incorporated. Ah, incorporated in Delaware. Uh, two, 200, 217,000. Uh, Good. The, the number of companies housed at 12... 09 Orange Street in Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. 83 number of the 
uh, hundred largest largest U.S. companies that use offshore tax havens, including the big banks, taxpayers bailed bailed out in 2008. Two, 2008. 2008. Ah, very good. Great. Thank you. No, no, great job. And <laughs> and so again, this is a situation in the United States. So they're mm -hmm. saying that 64 percent of all the publicly traded parent companies are registered in Delaware and that there are over 200,000 companies registered at one building, one address on Orange Street in Willing, uh, Wilmington, Delaware. And out of the hundred, out of the 100 largest US companies, uh, 83 of them uh, uh, have uh, sorry, 83 of the 100 largest companies use offshore tax havens, including some of the big banks that were saved by taxpayers' money during the financial crisis. So uh, makes you mad. All right, and so uh, Mario, uh, uh, I'd like you to read some more statistics, please. Yeah. Okay begins with corporate. Corporate share of the U.S. tax receipts. Um, 19, uh, 1955, uh, 30%, uh, 2000, um, so, uh, 2009, 6.6%. Nine, uh, um, 124 billion per year lost uh, through the use of tax haven by wealthy individuals. Um, 198 billion. This, this would be pounds. Uh, pounds, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, amount that could be saved each year by reinforcing tax system in developing countries. Okay, and so I'd like to stop there. So, uh, and you can go to the website and see how this this information uh, is being uh, confirmed uh, and the source of the information. And so, I, I just wanted to say that the corp the percentage of U.S. taxes paid by corporations in 1955 was 30 percent. So they were paying a third of U.S. taxes. But in 2009, they were only paying 6.6% of the taxes. An incredible difference. And then uh, wealthy individuals avoiding paying taxes. And uh, again, if the international community could help developing countries collect taxes, uh, it's estimated that they could be they could save 198 billion pounds, right, each year. And if we could, uh, oh, I just have one more um, I uh, one more statistic here. And so, uh, uh, Mohammed, hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Yes, welcome everybody. Where where are you connected from? I'm connected from Yemen. From ah. Yemen. Okay, great. Uh, uh, could you uh, please uh, read the text that's on the screen for us? Yes, of course. Twenty. You see it? Twenty-five. Twenty-five billion euro per year lost through tax avoidance by investors and the. Twenty hundred target corporation in the UK. Mm -hmm. One switch. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I just like to stop there. Just this is the last, uh, or sorry, that was the last statistic. So twenty-five billion pounds lost uh, in the UK every year. All right, and so now Switzerland, uh, in my opinion, uh, and, and remember, I am no financial expert. But everyone in Canada thinks of Swiss bank accounts as one of these secret tax havens that people use. 
And so could you please read the first part of this um, text? Uh, Mohammed, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Switzerland, Switzerland's blissimate political proclaim it really proclaim it proclaim political really and is banking security last half over time with the country to have one of the largest offshore financial systems in the world and to become one of the biggest tax having globally. However right. sorry past, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank you. Uh, offshore means that uh, people send their money to another country and again tax havens is the term that we're using uh, these places where people avoid paying taxes alright and I'm just going to select uh, uh, this piece of text and so uh, do go here sorry oh dear what happened here Okay, uh, good. If I uh, could go on to the next person, who is Omar. Could you please read this for us? Uh, sure, teacher. Uh, however, in the past few years, several noteworthy events have challenged the financial sector, threatening the bill of security that Swiss bankers are so keen to keep in place. And do you see the the text, Omar? Yeah, uh, yeah. let's see, teacher. So it's sorry. Let, let me see it one more time. Uh, okay, in two thousand eight, for example, United States authority discovered that UBS, the most powerful bank in Switzerland at the time, had been involved in criminal activities in the United States. UBS employees were su subsequently subsequently. subsequently forced on their oath to reveal illicit tactics that had been used to avoid the U.S. revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, the, uh, the IRS is the Internal Revenue Service of the United States and this is a very powerful organization and uh, it is in charge of collecting taxes. And so uh, in 2008 um, some employees of a Swiss bank were taken to court in the US and they were forced to reveal some of the information. All right. And so uh, I'd like to move on to uh, Mitri. Could you read mm -hmm. uh, this next selection for us, please? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, likewise, in 2009, a threat by the G20 to blacklist Switzerland and impose certain san uh, sanctions upon the country's financial sector for the first year to slightly loosen its banking secrecy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And could you read this for us, please, Mitri? Uh, some good news. About 30,000 U.S. taxpayers have disclosed their accounts to the United States revenue since 2009 when UBS, the biggest Swiss bank, was charged with helping Americans evade U.S. taxes. UBS avoided uh, prosecution by admitting it forced straight tax evasion paying uh, 780 million dollars and hanging over data on 2050 secret accounts it later disclosed another 4450 accounts okay great and so uh, the international community uh, the United States and the G20 the group of the 20 largest uh, economies in the world trying to put more pressure on Switzerland to uh, just simply declare the people who are uh, putting money into its banking system. I think that's the least they could do. All right, and so uh, we have the second example of a global tax haven, and it is, I was surprised to learn about this, this is in the United States. <laughs> and so uh, what I'd like to do is to go back um, and, and say hello to Alex. Alex, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Do you yes, hear me? welcome. Yes, good. Uh, hello. Uh, could you read this uh, first selection of text? Yeah, Delaware. Delaware, the best place to escape tax in the in the world, and that's official. In 2009, the tiny state helped us, the USA, to first place as number on one offender in the Tax Justice Network's Financial Secrecy Index. 
Okay, good. And then this this is a little strange here. Uh, maybe I'll get you to stop there, Alex. Thank you. And and so it was surprising for me to know that some people feel that the United States is the worst tax haven in the world. Uh, Dimitri, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Great. And uh, I'm just going to mute uh, your uh, microphone, Alex, and maybe using headphones or earphones uh, would eliminate the echo that we hear. Uh, thank you. Great job. All right. And so, uh, Dimitri, uh, I'm just going to uh, move this down for you. Now, this is just a uh, uh, a funny little uh, story here. So, uh, go ahead, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, close your eyes and let me take you on a journey to the North Orange Street, a fairly uneventful road in Wilmington, Delaware. Now keep your eye closed while I tell you about one particular yellow brick building along this street, number 1029. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we would we would probably say 1209 okay, as okay. as an address, but the number would be 1209. But okay. uh, practice 1209. 1209. For such a uh, uneventful looking office block, you might be a little taken aback to learn that this is a legally registered office of over 200,000 companies included global brand names such as Google and Coca-Cola. By locating tax exempt uh, subsid subsidiaries. subsidiaries at this address, these companies are significantly reducing their state tax bills. Okay. And How so, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank you. Uh, great, you've got the document. All right. And uh, I'm just going to mute your microphone. Sorry, we've got some background noise there. So this is the idea. So I guess, wow, I mean, over 200,000 companies. And, and so it sounds like almost every company in the United States is registering themselves in the state of Delaware to avoid paying state taxes. Now, this wouldn't be federal taxes or international taxes, but Delaware seems to be the tax haven uh, for state taxes in the United States. All right, and uh, Esther, uh, what we're going to do is move on and talk about uh, an entity called the City of London Corporation. Okay. Uh, please, go ahead. The City of London Corporation. The local government authority which controls the square mile of prime real estate in central London. London. You'd like to think this wasn't what lay the foundation for one of the world's most important financial districts, but sadly, avaricious del brokering is precisely what defines the city of London's history. In return for city loans, sub, sub sovereigns. sovereigns and governments granted the corporation with spread privilege. Judicial freedoms include. Okay, and so let me help you just with some of the pronunciation. And, and I know that this is somewhat uh, advanced reading. I, I tried to find uh, some simple um, uh, information. So avarice means greedy and uh, deal brokering. So making deals, making uh, agreements. And so uh, this is the City of London's, uh, the City of London Corporation. And so in return for financial help, sovereigns, which are the, the royal families, and governments have given this corporation special privileges and uh, judicial freedoms. Okay, so it's a, uh, a special jurisdiction in the, London. All right, and so I'd like to go to, uh, sorry, Hector, could you read this next paragraph for us? All right. Uh, up to this, the power London have amassed as the center of the British Empire, and what emerged is a 
preeminent global financial center. Subsequent centuries long attempts to incorporate the city into a unified Lon London authority have failed. The corporation remains impervious. Okay. Online, Sorry, I'm going to get you to stop there. Thank you. Uh, with okay. the, um, let me help you with the pronunciation. So, amassed, that means to collect or gather. And so, uh, this, this entity uh, has been um, existing for centuries. And, and so, it was the center of the British Empire when it was powerful. Uh, emerges is the pronunciation. And unified, to be unified. And so... Uh, many people <laughs> over the centuries have tried to uh, make this corporation, uh, which is, I'm not sure if it's necessarily a company or like a special zone, uh, like a special local government, to make it, to force it to join with the London City Authority, uh, it's, they have failed. So this corporation, which I think refers to a political area, has, has remained uh, separate. All right, and so, um, sorry, I'm just going to move this down. And uh, I would like to ask uh, the next person if they can, now I, I'm just, I'm curious, has anybody else heard of this <laughs> place? Um, and so, uh, sorry, Mario, could you read this next paragraph for us? Yeah. Unlike other local authorities, individuals are not the only voters here. Businesses can vote too. Uh, political parties, on the other hand, are absent. So, will all candidates standing as independents? You might well wonder how the city can be challenged. Mm -hmm. All right, great. And so they actually have elections, but uh, not only people can vote. It sounds like they have a completely different political system where businesses can vote as well. All right. And so I'd like to go on to uh, uh, Mohammed. Could you read this for us, please? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Today, today the secular mails to invite electoral wards are predominantly, predominantly controlled by the likes of Goldman Sachs and other financial corporations. The bigger the company, the bigger the vote with a company of 3,500 workers being allocated the maximum 29 votes. And who decides who gets to vote? To vote the voters, of course. Who appoint those they think suitable? Suitable. Is this what democracy looks like? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so uh, again, a very strange uh, area in London, and the in the elections, uh, companies. Uh, are uh, allocated uh, 79 votes and then uh, the bosses of the companies um, decide the employees who get to vote. <laughs> so it doesn't sound very uh, democratic. Alright, and so I'd like to go on to uh, Omar. Could you read this uh, paragraph for us, please? Uh, uh, yeah, teacher. So what that this got to do with Teddy Havens, it is simple as it is clear that any potential regulation of the corporation is apt to be thwarted, thwarted. thwarted by the square mile fiercely protected autonomy. An autonomy it has established precisely to undermine the financial regulation put in place by the British government. Okay, and so. Uh, they can just ignore um, the regulations passed by the British government. All right, and so uh, what I'd like to do at this point is uh, to just turn off the screen share here. We're reading, so three examples, uh, Switzerland, 
Delaware and the City of London Corporation as tax havens. And so I'd like to just ask people for um, a reaction to the story. Uh, uh, I'm just going to skip ahead to the people who have uh, been participating through the lesson. Sorry. So, uh, Mitri, uh, do you have a comment to make? Uh, yes, I think because uh, uh, we have two Dimitris. So which one? Oh, oh, sorry, uh, Mitri. Oh, oh, no. no uh, I'm sorry, not, it's fine. Okay. So <laughs> no, thank you. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Mitri, go yeah, ahead. Mitri Dumnikov, go ahead. Mitri Dumnikov. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think is the. Uh, oh well. Uh, okay. I think uh, so. Government should uh, uh, fight against uh, the offshore uh, money. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty easy. I think it's easy to fight against it. And I don't understand why they, they do nothing about it. So why? Why they? To the I, economy I, the, their own country. I I don't understand why they don't do anything about it. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah. No. I, and I think it, it could be easily solved. Uh, yeah, excellent point. Thank you. Uh, and Thank you. and so uh, let me see. Alex, uh, do you have a comment? Um, well, um, yeah, I think that uh, this is a very, very important situation that we have uh, around the world, and I'm very important in in, in Spain also uh, mm -hmm. in those days because we are finding out that there are a lot of politicians here that that have been moving out a lot of money from the taxpayers and public money uh, to tax havens and I think it's a, uh, it's a very important issue. They are asking us to to be with the crisis, uh, you know, to make some efforts and, and then they are, you know, they are doing all of this stuff and all of, all of these things that I, I, don't, I don't think that it's a good example for, for us to, to do. Okay, no, I, I think it's maybe the worst example possible, right? Yeah, great, well said. Uh, Esther, uh, a comment from you, please. Yeah, I think that the government has to be more strict, but for example, in my, well, in my country, Spain, uh, the politicians do this, avoid tax, and it's impossible that if they do it, they, um, they have to be more strict because they are interested that, that people that have a lot of money don't pay because a lot of politicians yeah. of Spain have a, accounts in Switzerland. Yeah, okay. No, it's, uh, okay, thank you. I, I, there just, uh, there seems to be a way of, uh, there has to be a way of dealing with this though. Uh, uh, forcing governments to, to uh, enact the laws. Good. Uh, Hector, I'm looking forward to your opinion. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I think in, in this point it's very important uh, the, the kind or the corruption but, mm -hmm. but in countries where, where there is a lot of corruption uh, the, the people maybe is not feeling confident for, 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 for pay for pay. The, the taxes, but right. mm -hmm. you you know? <laughs> no, so if there's a lot of corruption, people don't want to pay their taxes. They don't trust that their money is going to be used well. You are a, stolen. You are a genius for uh, understanding. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's your idea. It's very easy for me to say things in English. No, 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 for, for, for understand my English. Well, okay, no, no, no problem. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, so uh, you need to eliminate corruption so people will be more willing to pay their taxes. Great. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mario, uh, a comment from you, please. Uh, yeah, uh, what you can notice when reading all these articles is uh, you have a feeling that uh, crisis is not for everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. So. You just notice that uh, um, many people who have a lot of money don't pay any tax, and uh, the most tax is paid is by is paid by taxpayers or normal people. And right. then uh, the message is to 
to say there is uh, a crisis in the world. Maybe, but not for everyone. Yeah. Okay. No, you said that very, very well. Uh, Mohammed, uh, a comment from you, please. Yes. In my city, anyone have the uh, anyone when uh, want to pay a tax. Uh, not everyone. Uh, not everyone can pay a tax because in our in my city who has a weapon weapon he control to the uh, himself because mm -hmm. they face it they face it uh, they face it weapon uh, anyone has weapon don't uh, pay tax right okay and so yeah that's a sad situation good luck with that thank you uh, Omar uh, uh, a comment from you please well, teacher, I could say this. Uh, so, in order to eradicate this situation, is really impossible. Uh, I could say that it's really impossible because they belong to the same group. They belong to the same circle. You know, they are they are very wealthy. It is very impossible that poor people is going to fight against those kind of companies. And I could say, teacher, that. Those company has best best that interest. It's really hard to eradicate. This is my this is my comment, teacher. So they are going to be the same. They are continue eating in the same dish. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. And and so and I know that there was a recent story in uh, the United Kingdom saying that uh, one of the main political parties has agreed not to try and abolish the city of London. They want to try and reform it. And so it's just that, you know, the government is saying, okay, we, we just need to allow them to continue making money for us, no matter how they do it. Uh, and uh, Mitri, uh, a final comment from you, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have nothing to say. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to end the class here. Uh, so really? Were you serious? <laughs> Well, uh, let, let me ask you a question. Do, do you feel good about paying taxes? Are, are you happy with the way that your taxes are being spent? Accidente marítimo. Echo. I can hear. Well, uh, I tried to, to do that properly. <laughs> and, and do you think the government is doing a good job spending your taxes? Uh, well, it seems to me that uh, not often, but I agree with. I agree that uh, there is the matter of corruption. Um, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So uh, great. Well, uh, I I hope that uh, uh, this has been interesting for you and uh, worthwhile practice for your English. Great job on the reading, and as always, uh, I really enjoyed listening to people's comments about this issue. All right, so uh, good luck, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for your great participation. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, thank bye. You. Take care. Uh, thank you, teacher, and thank you also for your time. Thank you for your time. Thanks to Verbling.com. Thank you, Verblen. Thank you, Verblen. Absolutely. Thank you very much.